Welcome to the Texas Go Radio Show. This is part five of the uh, 17th. Man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. I've been taking breaks in, a, in between videos. It, we know what it is. I mean, I don't, but yeah. That that's me, like, as a gay man doing a gay thing. Like, that that's how. Okay, that was not intentional. I lived my life as a gay gay man. Like that that's not a joke. That's real. Like I'm like with my boyfriend in a matching cat leotard. Like that's just me being a gay guy. That's so deeply funny to me. And then they're like, oh no, here's you. Look at this. I'm like, the only evidence that I'm a gay man is a Bobby Lee picture from a sketch, or me at 22, blacked out, beating the shit out of our all my friends, like half naked, because our friend died from a documentary I put up on YouTube that's supposed to be like rock bottom. Oh yeah, that, you're the gay one, not to Hitler. Oh, like, oh, my God, you guys are fucking pathetic. That's why I mean, in that documentary, in all fairness. A lot of the mutual friends did say that they were. And then taking everything else into consideration. I would, I'm not, I, this is this is not intended to hate uh, homosexuality or whatever, but. Not even well. The only reason why it's an issue is because he makes it an issue. <clears throat> a lot of people just ignore whatever everybody else is saying. One of the reasons why they just ignore it is because there's hardly any truth to it or there's no truth to it or it's just it's just time to move on or something. He preaches so much hatred towards certain people that it's, I feel it's important to point out the actual truth of the situation. I like to remember Jacob Rothschild. And all you boot boys out there, just remember, if all of the Jews died that you thought are ruining your life, nothing would change. Remember when Jacob Rothschild, like the, the top evil Zionist in the world died and no one cared? That was this year. Yeah, and one of the greatest comedians. You know, of no, Soros. I know, dude, nothing would matter because the system doesn't. One of the greatest comedians of all time, George Carlin, said, it's not that they have meetings every week. No, they have the same interests. That's why it works out that way. Not really one person is in, is in charge of everything. They have the same interests, and therefore it works out that way. matter about the people. It's your engagement in it and what you want given to you at what price. And that's called accountability, and that's the thing that you guys want. I miss Jacob Rothschild, old Jake. I, I think old Jake was a sweetie. Let's see you grow orchids and set up a world financial system. You know all those wars that you guys love to fight? Well, who the hell do you think pays for all those wars? You think so this is him. <laughs> this is him literally giving praise and worship to uh, the entity. I'm going to call them entities as of right now. He's giving his penance to the things that you could ar arguably say might be controlling him. Because, I mean, it's just weird. Why is he saying those things? Very questionable behavior. A lot of very questionable be behavior these weapons just fall from the sky no jacob rothschild made them for you and all you can do is bitch well guess what i'm the one who clips the thing about the top jew me you know let's see if i wrote about this is uh i i am the, the how narcissistic is that <laughs> for him to call himself big bear for him to call himself the king of bertaria for him to call himself the top J. like he's got to be the best at everything he's not six six anymore guys Ladies and gentlemen, he's 6'8". Because of his lifestyle, he grew two inches in his 40s. Had do in the world because I have my foreskin. And not to be, oh, TGI Friday, or what's it called? TMI, TMI, TGI, TMI, dude. Oh, well, no, it matters. When the entire world is calling you a Jew, it's kind of funny when you're a six foot eight blue eyed guy without being circumcised, which is. And of course, being the type of, of uh, guy that. Given any opportunity to do so, he will reference Mel Genitalia. That's just who and what he is. Like no one in my age group. Back in my group, everyone got clipped. And I said, I'm the highest rank of Jew there is. A Jew with his foreskin. That's why my recent self-accountability and I victim consciousness is my big sellout move to be rewarded in your foreskin. You Nazi... Anti-victim consciousness. <clears throat> his whole bit right now... Is because other people were telling him that, or because other people were uh, making him the victim. He is the victim in this anti-victim cause. It's so convoluted. It's, oh, I was going to drop the hard R word. <laughs> it's dumb. This whole thing is absolutely stupid. 
Piper Bitcoin glowing eyes, guys. So foolish. Figured me out. I'm a Jew. But know this. I'm the 911th level of Jew that actually gets your foreskin shipped directly to me, my P.O. box. What do I do with your foreskins? Nothing. I burn them because it's not about me getting your tips. It's about you not having them. And I demand evidence you've been clipped from my army of sewer rabbis who trained with the Ninja Turtles. 100 milligrams of Adderall and 27 hours of Nick Fuente's videos did the trick. You guys got me. I'm Jewish, but not the type you're used to. Not the depressed Jew with the bad posture and the clipped ween. I'm the one who clips. I'm the one who's never been clipped. You've been noticed. Okay, so the documentary that he keeps referring to that people are using against him to say that he is whatever. The close friends that knew both of them did call both of them that. And he admitted in that that he does quite a bit of Adderall. You think you are the noticer? I and in this one, he said that he loves Nick Fuentes. There's so many layers to this that it's 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 not satire. It's not sarcasm. I don't I don't know. Damage control by a crazy person. It's like somebody throwing water on a a, a fire where the main source is oil on an oil fire or a grease fire. Notice you. For those of you with autism, that escalation and passion was not me, quote unquote, spiraling. It's me making it funnier. OK, so I'm the one who clips. Because that's what comedians do. They have to tell you. <clears throat> they have to tell you that it's funny. And well, they have to call you um, autistic and then say, well, you, you, the only reason why you didn't get it is because you're retarded. And so, uh, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, he should go on Kill Tony and try to do a, a full 60 seconds. And then he might get less. I mean, he, he has been a stand-up comedian. And so whenever I, whenever I say that he should go on Kill Tony, it's not because I think 100% that he will fail. That's not it. It's just, if you call yourself a comedian, go where comedians are. Do what they're doing. You know? Don't just hide behind a, a screen yelling at people and calling them autistic because they don't think you're funny. It's funny. Some guy said, you're literally the guy that made me look into it. This meta shit is too confusing. I said, yeah, I didn't realize how people would just spin it into victim narratives and act exactly like Jews. I always thought once people saw it, they would become productive. Um, it's having the opposite effect. They now just push despair and nonsense. People are like, but you're the Jew guy. I'm like, I, I know. And then, of course, one of our uh, Israeli Jews said, new theme is hilarious. I actually feel bad for the boot boys. I thought they had more chutzpah and a sense of humor. They should run their tweets by me. If I was able to enjoy the Jew jokes all these years, they can learn a thing from us pure-blooded Jews. And I wrote, dude, they're literally humorless retards. I'm now a Jew. Why not? I can do that, right? Is there anything specific I need to do? I can't read Hebrew. I've never been clipped. I was never told I was a Jew. I don't know very much about it. <laughs> I can say l'chaim. I can say mazel tov. I know Saturdays are a very special day for us. I can balance a checkbook. I'm in. I'm surprised he hadn't mentioned Adam Sandler with all of this. I, why wouldn't I be a Jew now? Why not? I can be a Jew. This Jew. I'm in. I mean, it's a lot better than being Hitler's dad. Check out the face on this guy. His name was Shekel, Shekel Grubber. This is Synap at work, ladies and gentlemen. This is the great comedian at work. You know, the, the comedian never made the world. That's God. But there's a comedian that is doing something very strange. Adolf Hitler's dad is literally named Shekel Grubber, and he looks exactly... He, he just compared himself to God. <laughs> he said the comedian didn't, <laughs> didn't create the world. That was God. But the comedian is doing something strange. The, dial, the, the words that he uses, the dialogue that he uses... We've been saying it for a long time, and I say we because there's a lot of people out there that that are involved in this conversation, that Owen has been losing his mind for a very long time. But it, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been around normal people, <laughs> and it's just, <clears throat> I don't know. It's, I think it's definitely getting worse. You like Coddington. No offense, Coddington, but a real... A face that a mother doesn't even want. I mean, it just, I mean, look at that fuck. That's the, that's the genetic hero of the world, really, Shackle Grubber. Because the thing is, I was mocking the boot boy saying that Hitler's mom fucked a Rothschild. Hitler's mom allegedly was a toilet cleaner for the Rothschilds and got boofed. Okay, now that could be Jew 
Trickery and mockery. Okay, maybe it's a lie. Maybe. Okay. So if it is a lie, even though I, it feels that way, that's his dad then. That guy. Okay. His name's Shekel Grubber. Okay. It's either that. I'll, I'd take the Rothschild if I was a Jay. Or if I was a, a boot boy, I'd be like, yeah, Rothschild. And then, of course, the boot boys say, well, we're now the American Indian. Right? And I understand that. There's truth to that. Where you say, well, you're now the one being, uh, that, that you're going to be uh, bred out or, or killed or whatever. And someone said, Big Bear, what advice would you give the Native Americans in 1640? And this is my advice. Don't drink alcohol or have tribal blood-based wars in exchange for alcohol. And when the white man bans alcohol, because you're such a... Okay, just so you know, it's not normal <clears throat> for grown people to call another grown person Big Bear. Unless of, a, unless of, in course, uh, unless of course... <laughs> Unless you are in a uh, a cult, unless of course you're in a cult, I wanted to throw in in there so so bad for some reason. Yeah, Big Bear, that's so cringy. What advice would you give the Native Americans in 1964 or 19, in 1640? Don't drink alcohol or have tribal blood-based wars in exchange for alcohol. And when the white man bans alcohol because you're such a mess, don't start drinking mouthwash because there is alcohol in it. Also, don't huff paint and then blame white people for it even after white people won't sell you paint anymore because you abuse it as a drug. Also, the talking coyote you hear while you're tripping doesn't actually give good advice. That made my head hurt. Mess. Don't start drinking mouthwash because there's some alcohol in it. And don't huff paint and then blame white people for it even after white people won't sell you paint because you're huffing it. Also, the talking coyote you hear while you're tripping balls doesn't actually give good advice. Okay, that's how people are conquered. Whether you want to believe it or not, if you think it's all just um, scalpings and tomahawks and everybody's fucking dancing with wolves and then, it, no, no, no. That's how you get conquered. All right, my advice. Yeah, it's not by submitting yourself to some random Hollywood um, ex Hollywood comedian. And bending a knee to him, calling him Big Bear and giving him your hard earned money that you literally got up and did work for. <laughs> That's not how you get conquered at all, right? To young white, you know, boot boy, Nazi, despair, black bill guys. All right. My advice to not be conquered have children, be productive, don't become addicts, okay? Develop communities, learn skills. And then you won't be replaced. Oh, no, but that's Jew talk. You're a gay fucking Jew. No, we no, nobody says that. All of that's really good advice. If you don't think that's good advice, then you're stupid or ignorant or something. There's something wrong with you if you think what he just said isn't good advice. Now, the problem with him saying that is the well that it's coming from because he's not the only one saying stuff like that at all. That's universal common knowledge. Have children prosper. How far back does that go? Pretty sure there's a book that was written a long time ago that pretty much starts off that way. But yet, that's the reason why he's being hated. I don't think so. That doesn't add up. That doesn't make any sense. Could it be his uh, opinion towards children giving consent? Could it be the land scam that he ran back in 2020 and still does to this day? Give me money, expect nothing. Could it be the DVD thing? Hey, give me a hundred bucks and I'll give you this signed DVD. Well, you're not going to get that. If you're lucky, I might write you a 60 second improv horse hockey thing that whatever. Y'all are going to like it way more than a full hour stand up comedy, whatever signed by me. There's a million other reasons for somebody to call Owen out on his horse hockey rather than the minute truths that he says from time to time. It's crazy to think that there's people out there that actually believe that people hate him because he says some truths every once in a while. That is insane. What to do is meme and warp and rage and get fight. We got to figure out fucking every drop of blood in the fucking world. Oh my God, you guys suck so bad. And that's why the Indian got taken over. You give them a gun, they shoot all their own buffalo and then they blame white people. White people gave us fire stick and now they take a buffalo from the plane. The white man gave us fire. <clears throat> I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure the United States government did murder a bunch of buffalo. Like a bunch. Air water and now we have bad skin. It was from the blanket. Not the blanket. 
You, it's from the constant alcohol you're drinking. White man killed all the buffalo. No, no. What actually happened, fact, is the American Indian didn't have the ability of slaughtering tons and tons of buffalo uh, because they didn't have the technology. Okay, they didn't even get horses till the Spanish. All right, they didn't have guns. They'd have to, like, try and drive them off a fucking cliff, literally, or use, like, arrows and spears, get the weakest ones. It was in a natural harmony, okay? Then they start trading for guns, and they just start shooting all the buffalo. It was, like, same with uh, sugar and alcohol. They're, they were ripped and healthy and strong, and they, they were in tune with nature and all this shit. As soon as sugar and alcohol touched their lips, they were, like, 500-pound fucking retards. Coyote. I'm not one to get into this kind of argument, but... but... <coughs> Excuse me. But what he's saying is counterintuitive. He's he's making the argument that the white man didn't do anything to hurt the Indian while saying the things that the Indian got from the white man was what destroyed them. Now, okay, lack of self-control and all that kind of stuff, sure. But it's just the, the – it doesn't make any sense what he's saying. I mean, I'm sure you can stretch your mind and be like, oh, yeah, I know what he said. Well, there, sure, there's some kind of substance to it, but it's – the point that he's making doesn't make any sense with what he's saying. Sure, white man take – no, no, white man gave you things that you couldn't handle. Now apply that to quote-unquote Jews. Debt, porn, video games, Hollywood, right? <laughs> like that's the, that's the alcohol of the white – So I guess that, that was his point. The, the white man gave them things that they couldn't handle. But, I mean, to say that there was no other outside influence, I think, is kind of a little disingenuous. It's it's complicated, whatever. One of the first school massacres was Indians to white people. There's that. <laughs> man, the white man typically doesn't have a big alcohol problem. Now there's some alcoholics amongst the whites, but nothing like the Indians. No hate towards Native Americans, Indians, whatever. No hate whatsoever. My mom was part Indian. Uh, she also grew up picking cotton, so... Like an alcoholic amongst the whites is like, yeah, I, I drink six beers every day or else I feel like I can't sleep. And I've just been really distant with Wendy. OK, Indians will literally drink everything they can until they're dead. I'm, I'm not even kidding. They're nuts with booze. So that's how they got Congress. So if you're looking at the Jew as destroying you and taking over, OK, don't be a homo. It's like the Jew came and brought shot at me in flickering screen. I already say don't watch flicker screen or you put it's like his mind. Mind. Then there's no demographic. Rep- it's like his mind is is split up in so many different ways trying to cover so many different bases that he just doesn't make any sense anymore. And I've noticed that's one of his techniques that he's always used. He covers all the bases that way. Whenever somebody calls him out on something, he's like, well, I actually said this. Well, he said both so that he could be right. It is Jew who did it. Jew brought credit card. White man by judge key. <laughs> white man can't pay back judge key. Wendy leaves white man. Coyote say Wendy leave because of black Jew man, but really it was Judge Key. <laughs> it's so fucking true. Um, and they had no enzymes. Yeah, yeah. The Twitter Nazis are a bunch of Tinas. Well, it, they will be replaced, but why? And so I'm sitting here trying to help them not get replaced. I'm like, yeah, you guys are the Indians. You're going to end up on, on a reservation, a ghetto, wherever, and you're going to hate the people giving you free money that try and keep you from watching pornography. Firewater, make engine dance with coyote and be gay man. Uh, so anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Let's move on. Uh, it does work. I'm getting tons of DMs. Hey, man, just want to let you know the video you posted the other day really helped my perspective. I was beginning to fall into the Groyper trap of blaming the Jews for everything, but that you said made a lot of sense. Uh, I don't know what's going on, going to happen with Saudi Arabia, but all that stuff, it's all about your behavior, right? It's the blame game. Oh, Jewish Benjamin wants to let the Jew off the hook. I don't care what you fucking do. Do whatever you want, retard. Right? It's like saying, like an Indian being like, white man trying to keep me from drinking fire water. White man hate coyote. I literally don't care. Blame whoever the fuck you want, but blaming doesn't matter if you don't change your behavior. There really isn't a little Jew sitting there going, oh, yeah, I'm going to get him to buy a Jansky, and then I'm going to fucking... It's it's like retarded to the point where I'm like, okay, when are we going to replace these guys? They would all cry tyranny if porn was truly banned. Porn, Pornhub is already banning the ability of watching porn in three states, Kentucky, Idaho, Utah so far. Unless you give them a ID, that's great. That should be all. No, I, well, I don't know about any of that, but it was Texas. Te- Texas, from what I understand. Evidently, it was passed some time ago, but here recently I just caught wind of it. Where it's because of Texas, the laws that Texas passed, 
You have to prove that you're 18. I don't know what the other states are. I've never heard that it was that actual company that said uh, you can't watch it. That that doesn't make any sense. Why why would you limit your own? If if you're making money on something, why would you personally limit the the reach to it? They just woke up one day and and had like realized that there was a moral compass underneath their pillow. I don't know. I haven't looked too much into it. Obviously, I'm probably just speaking on ignorance. I literally just came across that information, I think, yesterday or the day before. But uh, as far as Texas. <clears throat> the Nazis are talking about. They don't, though. They're like, ah, they do. It's like we're already making moves towards that because people want that. They're like, we shouldn't have children having access to pornography. You should have your ID and blah, blah, blah. That's great. And, and a lot of those seeds were planted by people like me. People like us, people that were talking about porn and banning it and the dangers it does to people years ago. And now the, the ripple effect on culture starts going up to governments because a government has to do the will of the people or else it loses its uh, position. All right. But they don't. Guys, the craziest thing is they don't actually care. You know, these Nazi guys, they don't give a fuck. They're like, oh, yeah, we had to clean up Weimar. I'm like, then clean up your computer. They're like, but, but the Jew makes me squirt. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's talk about Wally. Okay, the, the movie Wally, I think, is a big truth drop. So the film Wally is all about us, the indulged masses that can't walk, only consume. The AI is the system portrayed as the bad guy. Okay, here's the AI. In the, in the film Wally, there's an AI that's been there for centuries and runs the ship. And um, Wally and Eva are trying to stop it so that they can free, uh, free the humans. But in reality, what is it? All right. The one feeding the masses their slop and keeping them in a state of permanent infancy. Withholding the truth from them. That's what AI is doing. In the scene with the pictures of previous captains, you can see how they get fat. Okay, so he goes from hating Jewish people, saying that they're in control of everything. To, I don't know where he went after that, <laughs> but then now it's it's AI <coughs> that's doing it. There's always something in control, but then there's nothing in control. <laughs> Everybody's a victim of this thing that's in control, but then nobody's a victim. It's your fault for choosing. and fatter with each generation until they are immobile babies. So the divine spark of life is revealed, the plant, the waking up. The system does everything to keep the truth from coming out, but the truth cannot be hidden. Um, the baby people return to Earth and see more plants. Is that a happy ending? No. And I'll tell you why it's not a happy ending, and this is the reality of the film Wally. okay? So they all come back to Earth, and they see the plant, and it's time to heal. Um, where is it? But the truth... Um, in reality, they'd all die. It would be like releasing a Pomeranian into the Amazon jungle and say, you're free now. I took that step as an adult baby to be a real man outside of the Federal Reserve and the slop. And it's very hard. It takes time. Yeah, that's whenever it gets aggravating, <clears throat> infuriating for a lot of people, especially the ones that were <clears throat> connected to Owen. I took that step as an adult baby to get out of the whatever of the Federal Reserve. What he's referring to is him getting people to give him money for her for a service or good that he didn't provide. So therefore, he was able to buy 20 acres of land, not fulfill the obligations to the investors, but to buy himself 10 acres for himself, build a house, build a barn. The barn is the house that he's in right now. Supposedly, he's not allowed in the main the main quarters. I don't know. I've never seen any kind of proof for that besides just how he acts. He claims not to preach fear, but then let me tell you why Wally, why it's not a happy ending, because everybody dies. That reminds me of him sitting inside of his vehicle saying, and he, he said, I just got off a friend, for, I just got off the phone for, uh, with a friend from Hollywood or from LA, whatever. And uh, we pretty much came to the conclusion that everybody's going to die soon or a lot of people, there's going to be a, a big dying away. Like a lot of people are going to die soon. Fear porn. That's pretty much all this is. Fear porn, confusion, give him money. I, w 
wasn't fully aware of how dependent I was on the system built for me by people I was antagonizing. If you noticing based guys get what you are currently asking for, you would all die within 48 hours. You mock and slander the people who actually know this by claiming we quote unquote ran away and are quote unquote insane. I think movies like Wally are high level jokes, mocking people as the domesticated cows that they are. This isn't a black pill. I'm very hopeful because I've learned that the system is consent based and revolves around comfort and the elimination of pain. It's all a choice. It's all a service. There's an argument that a giant culling in nature, uh, that a giant culling is natural and necessary. And if the based guys get what they're begging for from the system and it shuts off the slop, then they would all die. I would like to see an organic grassroots lifestyle based transition away from the paradigm of comfort and indulgence currency into honor and morality. Right? Isn't that what you guys want? This is what I've wanted, where you stop obsessing over how much money people make, their yachts, their Bugattis, their private planes, their... It's moments like this where it's honestly confusing. Because there's obvious truth in this, but he doesn't believe this because from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And that's what that's not what he abundantly talks about. Fear porn, uh, verbal pornography, male genitalia, female genitalia, not as much as male genitalia, though. Just in this live stream, just in the last hour and almost 30 minutes. This is a small sliver of a bigger picture. And just because he says something that has truth to it, that convinces some people that he's okay or he's decent or he's not what he really is. Indulgences, and you start talking more about what kind of person they are, how productive they are, what their garden is like, how many children they are. This is the cultural shift that actually will make a difference. I'm sure many of you don't have the patience to read all of this and have already commented, you're Jewish. And there's an argument that you're supposed to be harvested. I hope not, but there are people I respect that really believe that. Anyway, good luck. There are people that I respect that really believe that. About them being harvested, which is, they, I mean, they, he's talking about them dying in a weird way. There is so much going on in this live stream. Uh, good times. And don't forget, if you want to uh, support the stream, P.O. Box 490, Sandpoint, Idaho, 83864. Oh, and uh, Temple Bear has done a lot of work on the album. We have a vinyl to be released soon that people can pre-order. I don't know the details on that yet. And they have done a version of Gunner's Dream with drums and guitar uh, that sounds great. So I will keep up with all that stuff. I've just been focused on the boot boy. Okay, so the album, is it? Is there any original music on it or is it just covers? Honest question. Good boy stuff. Uh, and uh, unauthorized.tv, censor.tv, TV, promo code Shapiro. All my streams are now on there. It's a great time. Um, I'm working on the book. The book is coming out good. And uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Bertaria Times.events, tickets are selling. And the beauty of weeks like Boot Boy Week is we cut out that victimy shit. Where this is the year of ownership. We named it on January 1st. And it's the year of ownership, and it's not the year of complaining anymore. You know, I try to be the truther uh, that answers, now what? Well, we're not just going to sit around and look at... Oh, so the year of ownership, that's his message to the bear saying, no, nothing that I've done has harmed you at all. For those of you that have stuck around, it's all your fault. You take ownership, as I take ownership of all the stuff that you've ever given me. Like the money that I use to buy my land. It's the year of ownership. I own all of this land. It's my land. And you don't own it. <laughs> so even that is a message of, <clears throat> I don't know. How much land does he own in Missouri now? I know he owns 20 acres in Idaho. I'm, I, I'm not too sure how much they've bought in Missouri. Texas County, Missouri, by the way. One eye symbolism forever. We have to continue. And this, very excited about the, the festival. We're going to have a lot of cool stuff for families and music. And I'm going to do a set. And hopefully we can get some more people doing comedy. Um, it's tough building a parallel thing. It really is. It's, uh, But I'm trying. We're all trying. Yeah. Uh, it's really tough, especially whenever the business model so far has, has been, give me money for certain services and goods and you're not going to get anything barely. And the stuff that you do get... I'm telling you, you have to be happy with it. So 
And dude said, dude, I knew you weren't lying when you said that the tide would turn and you would be seen as a Jew sympathizer, but it's surreal to see it happen live, yeah. Okay, and this is another, this was one that really infuriated the boot boys. Someone posted this and it says, who controls your mind? And don't get me wrong, I've been through these, uh, I've been down these roads and maybe I should just let people go down the roads, but I'm not not letting you. It's not like I'm preventing people from being like Nazi Jew guys. I'm just telling you what I learned, okay? And it's good advice for anybody that wants to just skip over that pain um, that comes from all this because this is a classic meme about who controls the media. And then there's the jump to who controls your mind. Let me find this. And then my answer, because if you look at the, um, if you look at all of these, and this is the one that Ye famously put up, it's like CNN, Fox, blah, blah, blah. And how many of them are like Jews or at least like half Jew or kind of gay or bi or whatever the fuck it is. And so my answer was, I control my mind. Look at this based meme about Jewish control. You see the trick? Let me put it back up. Trying to help you guys get to the next level. And I know that makes me quote unquote Jewish, but you're giving away your authority with these based noticing Jew takes. Imagine a meme that says, who controls your penis? And it's just porn companies and Pfizer. <clears throat> he just can't help himself. And that's a figure of speech. He definitely could. Everybody can help themselves. But uh, it, it's, it's, it, it's. Oh, man. It doesn't make any sense because one of the reasons why he claims to be a genius is because he sees patterns. And now other people, not because of him, but now he's calling everybody else that sees patterns weak. It's exhausting listening to this guy. Logos. That's for losers, right? Really think about that. Who controls your penis? Pornhub, Vivid. Um, what's the blue pill thing? I do. See Alice. Right. And all, all the people who control your dick are Jews. Wouldn't you immediately say, no one controls my dick? OK, you are in control of your own mind. If you are. <laughs> That's ironic. You are in control of your own mind. I am in control over my own mind. So I controlled myself in order to immediately start talking about genitalia. If you aren't ready to accept that, then by all means, keep bitching and giving it away. Authority has to be earned. And for that, I'm grateful that groups of Jews have figured out how to manage people like you who demand to be controlled. Right? Who demand to be controlled. And then people could say, oh, but we're pointing out who controls the flow of information. No, no, no. You are where the buck stops. You either consume it and believe it and like it or you don't. It's on you. And if you say Jews control my mind because of all these, these services they provide, then you want to be a slave and you're giving away your authority. And that's that's true. Rather you and then people are That doesn't make any sense. Because he's talking to the people that are calling out those people that are putting that information out and saying, no, stop paying attention to that. Because by you saying that, you're giving them control while he's pointing out <laughs> it's the insane ramblings. It, do it just doesn't make any sense to me. Unsubscribing and getting mad at me, which is ironic, right? They're trying to use money as a manipulation. Like this guy said, I liked your content, but I canceled my subscription yesterday because of how suspect you are by not honestly addressing the issue of Jewish supremacy. They're saying this to me, the guy who did it before all these people, and it cost me millions of dollars. Me. Okay. This is why I know it's not all bots. This was a subscriber. It's a serious problem, and running into the country is not a serious solution. It makes me think you are not man enough to address the real issue. I wrote, I hope you take that $5 and really make it count. Just trying to help you guys get to the next level, but I get it. That makes me a Jew. The truth is a lot of people want to feel like victims and oppressed because they never have to change. They're slaves and slaves need a master. It all makes sense. And it's fair. And they tried to have it back and forth. It's like, oh, it's good. You respond. He's imploding on himself is I think what's going on right now, because nobody else can be a victim. But yet he preaches his own victimhood. Everybody hates me because I just tell truth. And that's that's obviously a lie. And so that's imploding upon itself. He's a genius because he sees patterns, but he's also calling out other people who see patterns but and telling and saying that they're weak minded for acknowledging those patterns. He's not homosexual, yet all he talks about is male genitalia. And I'm like, fuck off. Take your five dollars, you cheap whore, and get the fuck out of here. Trying to manipulate behavior with money is so ridiculously gay. All right. I put myself out there. I, I love and care about my audience. I do. I love and care about my country, the future. I try to do the right thing. I work really hard at my craft. That's why I think people should pay me. If you don't want to, that's your choice. I, you know, I try to, I even put out that piano uh, thing for free because I realize piano thing for free because he cares so much about it. 
what is his craft at this point? Is it comedy? Because he doesn't work on his craft. Saying that he's a, a stand-up comedian. Because he, he doesn't go do stand-up comedy. Now, he does a variation of comedy. Sure, I'm, I'm not going to take away that because, I mean, people think all kinds of things are funny. Now, zooming out and acknowledging who and what Owen Benjamin is, I don't find him funny whatsoever anymore. The times that I do laugh, it's un, it's unintentional on his part. It's because of how absurd the truth is of what he's saying, because listening to what he says compared to the reality of his situation and what he has done in the past. I just have to talk to some people. A lot of my uh, donors, a lot of people that support me at the P.O. Box, they want as many people to hear this as possible. I've had people give me legitimate super chats, like weak changing, like amazing supportive super chats. And those people I know want people to hear this. They want a future. And him saying that destroys, he's, he's destroying himself unintentionally. It's not like it was four years ago, whenever it was intentional, uh, where he knew where he was going with it. He knew that he wanted to be banned from everything so that he could call himself the world's most banned comedian. But right now, what he just said, I've had people give me legitimate super chats. And so if you're a genuine member of the bear community, and for some reason you love him and, and you want to help take care of him, and you have $5 to give him, $10. Now you think, oh, well, he he's not going to appreciate that because it's not a legitimate super chat. Where people can hear this shit. And so as much as I as a business decision would do it exclusive for unauthorized and blah, blah, blah. Just listen to it. And if you like it and you want to hear more and you want to support, subscribe. Down. And that statement is, is way out in left field as a business decision. It would be smart for him to just be on UATV. No, <clears throat> that would be a death sentence for Owen. He has to have Twitter. He has to have bit shoot and rumble. He has to. Cause even the people that pay for UATV, and even he knows it, that pay for UATV, they don't watch him on UATV. They watch him everywhere else. There is some truth, and that's probably one of the reasons why. There is some truth to people like me that do videos on him on YouTube actually help him out. There is some truth to that. And that's probably one of the reasons why uh, I don't do <clears throat> videos every day the, the way that I used to. That and it just gets really old really quickly. But he's unintentionally destroying himself. That's what I think that we're watching right now. Authorized. All right. But I'm, we're putting it out for people. And my mom has a hard time with subscribing. I want people to be able to hear the good shit. And fortunately, there's my mom has. Is that what he just said? Just listen to it. And if you like it and you want to hear more and you want to support, subscribe to Unauthorized. All right. But I'm, we're putting it out for people. My mom has a hard time with subscribing. I want people to be able to hear the good shit. And fortunately, there's a lot of generous people that keep this profitable where I can do that. And so everybody that supports the stream with super chats and donations and Buying the shit I sell, it's like, yeah, I can do this. I don't have to charge for my content. I just hope people honorably subscribe if they can, and if not, that's fine too. Okay. Uh, like this guy says, that's all good advice, but you'll still get squeezed out of your own country by sheer numbers if you aren't willing to get politically active. Politically active is a wide spectrum of activities from holding a sign at the public square to full-on raping and pillaging your enemies. I wrote, so having more children is not the answer to numbers. Hold a sign and rape. It's gone, guys. There's no appeal to these people. They're like, listen, you having a bunch of kids and like starting your uh, self-sustaining community in America. <laughs> he was about to say it. He was about to say cult. He had the C. We hold signs and down the line we may do a rape. Come on, guys. There's no appeal to these people. They're like, listen, you having a bunch of kids and like starting your... Uh, self-sustaining community in America. <laughs> I mean, he was talking as though he was talking from somebody else's perspective, but he almost said the word cult. 
And he used to call it, he used to say that it was a cult until, I mean, there was no question that it was a pred- predatorial, dangerous cult. We hold signs and down the line we may do a rape. It's, it's, ins- guys, there's no argument. That's why it's like, why won't you let me come on? Why? What you say is, is, it's not a debate. It's like the, it's the death throes of a dying breed. And I welcome it because you're not my breed. We're not the same breed. You know, that's not, we're not the same. We're not in the same team. When it's like, oh, you got to hold a sign in a city. Why? You're talking about numbers. Okay. So make more people, raise them properly. Have them uh, have your, your uh, culture. No, no. We're far too important to have children. We're talking about demographics here. I mean, it's like, uh, if you hold a sign, you will, what's, what's a sign? A sign's nothing. A sign does nothing. You stand there with a fucking sign. Now, if somebody was like, let's organize in our county to get this judge elected or sheriff elected. Great. Being in a city, holding a sign and fantasizing about rape and killing, you're, you should be in jail. Like, That's not what that dude said. <laughs> he was saying that that is, that, that people do that. He wasn't saying that, that, that it's a good thing or that, that, <laughs> he's he he doesn't have the ability to have any kind of legitimate conversation or debate or whatever. Uh, just go back to the great debate with Jim Bob, and so he has to just stick with one or two universally true things. Have kids, tr- treat them treat them well, train them to be decent human beings. He really had a, a, a good opportunity to have something that was awesome. He did. He had a whole lot of people that supported him. I mean, I mean quite literally supported him with their financial um, investments and donations and tips and whatnot. And then he ruined it. That's one of the reasons why I say any, if anything good ever came out of Bertaria, it wasn't because of Owen Benjamin. It was in spite of Owen Benjamin. You should, I'd take a Mexican over you, right? Like literally a Mexican, you know, not a teardrop Mexican, more like a work boots Mexican. And I know he's saying pervy shit in his weird Ewok language, but I'll just assume it's fine. Swear to God, I'd take that over the guys that are like, your whole thing about economic power and demographic replacement, like, and the way that he talks about people, Mexicans, black people, you can't help but say, yeah, dude, the, the, the guy is legit. He is filled with hatred. I'll even take them. Just imagine you're hanging out with your buddies in, in high school or middle school or whatever. And then you overhear one of your buddies say, no, I don't like that, dude. I would take that dude over that guy. The, the connotation is there. There's some kind of disdain, dislike, something. But like, no, dude, I'm just kidding. And then over the years, you learn, no, he's not kidding. That's he. He just doesn't like me, and so I'm not. I don't want to be around him anymore. And this isn't just a off the cuff remark, like a one time thing. He says he's said something similar to that twice just in this live stream. thing about large families and economic sustainability i mean for the love of god he's he, he says that his wife is white and that's not a big deal but she's just not the reason why it's a big deal is because he makes it a big deal and that's just i mean that's embarrassing i mean that's running away our founding fathers that all happen to all be farmers They knew that the deal is you go right into San Francisco, step over a dead guy, hold a sign to a bunch of fentanyl junkies, and then maybe do a rape. I'm like, you're trying to manipulate behavior for $5. It's funny. You know, that dude immediately went and bought a scratch off ticket. I didn't, not only did I, I didn't even lose any subscribers on Twitter. I think I, he he would, he, he, I'm not one for gambling. I'm laughing because he would get more, even just the chance of winning a little bit of money or, or coming out even. That's more. Uh, that's a better investment than giving Owen five dollars, in my opinion. Interview. Yeah, they probably didn't even fucking unsubscribe. They're like, "Well, I got my point across." Anyway, you want to hear from the Jews? Uh, real quick. As a Jewish comment, um, as a Jew, I can promise you, there's not many real Nazi types. This is very true, by the way. I would imagine ninety nine point nine percent of the ones you interact with are bots or alphabet soup patrols. Yeah, there's some real guys. I'd say it's eighty percent fake. 
My parents were spearheading funding some of these organizations to keep the victimhood flowing. Not kidding. It goes on all the time. A family friend was funding David Duke for a while in New Orleans many years back on the radio. But turns out he's really not very radical, just has a reputation, so not polarizing enough. Yeah, David Duke isn't very, like, he's actually quite reasonable. I think that the Jews tried to promote me to be a firebrand, and it wasn't working, so now they just ignore me. When I say the Jews, I don't mean, like, good Jews. I mean, like, the system. You know what I mean? Like, the, the victim machine. Because David Duke's kind of like that, too. You listen to him, it's really not that crazy. He's just... He's actually high IQ and talks human rights more than anything and how certain groups aren't held to any standards. That wasn't the expectation, so he was canceled. Dude, totally. Totally. Yeah, David Duke is pretty... Re- yeah, he's quite reasonable. It's same with... Uh, who's that other guy? I might actually talk to that guy on Censored. Man, sorry, my brain's a little fried. Uh, what's his name? He talks about... He was raised in Japan. He's really into being white. Uh, he's, like, older. He's like, what? He, like, he says the H's when he says, like, when. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, what's Robert Byrd? No, no, it's, uh, Robert Byrd. Isn't that that pedo guy from the Congress, allegedly? Um, no, he's, uh, not Richard Spencer, Jared Taylor. Jared Taylor doesn't sound that crazy. Like, I'm not backing anyone. Maybe there's some crazy thing they're saying, but same with David Duke. They're not really fiery. Like, it's, it's, uh, what the Jews, re- <laughs> when I say the Jews, the, the system, what it really likes is when, they like, like, uh, Fuentes, <laughs> in my opinion. But, uh, like comedians, like me too. See, I consider Fuentes to be one of the funniest guys right now that has a live stream. But if you put that in a political frame, it does, like, scare people. Didn't him and Fuentes have, have a falling out and he hadn't been on his show in a long time? <clears throat> so he's kind of pandering to Nick, trying to get back on there. That's one reason why I'm so adamant about staying out of politics, out of religion, because <clears throat> I'm hilarious unless you make me like a senator. And then you have every right to think I sound crazy, you know? Uh, so I think like trying to make a comedian. Oh, no, 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 no. There, there's a, there's a, um, possibility that he could be funny if he wasn't a dangerous predatorial cult leader. There, I think there's a legitimate argument for somebody to say, you know, he's kind of funny a little bit. Yeah. But once you acknowledge that he is a dangerous predator, predatorial cult leader, then he's not, then he's just a predator. And then you acknowledge the questionable things that he has said about children and then it's just very, very problematic. Like what they did to Gavin McGinnis. Like I consider Gavin McGinnis a comedian. Like he's a very funny comedian guy. When you make it political, that's when you can get the shekels flowing with the ADL. Anyway, and this is so true. The real boot boys are working class whites in bad neighborhoods that have to be in a race gang or get killed. The only actual race guys I know that actually are kind of like Nazi-ish for real are people that spend a lot of time in prison or they're from an extreme. So he's normalizing <clears throat> talking about black people, Mexicans, brown people, Indians. He's normalizing being able to say certain things about those people and then saying, no, I'm, I, I'm a comedian. This is just funny. I, it, I, I, in, in my opinion, it's just very problematic because he obviously hates those people. He obviously thinks he is superior to certain races because of the color of their skin that's why he calls mexicans mexicans blacks blacks and his wife is white it's clear as day as far as i'm concerned only dangerous uh environment where they have to that's the only people like you know like uh like the american history x archetype uh doesn't and from my experience it does not exist except with people that have that have been in an environment where like if they don't have racial consciousness with violence they're just going to get destroyed. And that can happen in uh, state prisons, not federal, state, and uh, certain neighborhoods. So that's, uh, anyway, this is back to me being the, the King Jew. Check this one out. Us Jews figured out centuries ago that the European requires the foreskin to connect to Odin and the tree of life. So we created the and all taken, and you'll never get it for your own dick clip. Yeah, there was, <laughs> there was no, nothing inside of me that wanted to put myself or anybody else through that again. I don't, I don't think that he was rereading something. I mean, he very well could have been. Right? It's starting to feel a little real, isn't it? This guy's like, dude, I'm a follower of you. I like your comedy. I like your general take. I shouldn't be able to trip your fuse back so easily. I'm like, so you follow my comedy and you're offended. I mocked the same thing for one to two weeks. You're just now the target, but now you think I'm going insane and triggered because you're a weak pussy with no sense of humor. You Jew guys are legit just as oblivious as any other group you feel superior to. More Indian street shitters got the joke than you guys. High IQ my ass. You truly think you're saving the world. Burn the dead wood. You Nazi guys with nonsense humor should just put on a fresh pair of khakis and chant the Jews will not replace us with your tiki choice torches. At- okay, so he's got as much money as he possibly 
uh, can get from the Nazi ish people is what I'm gathering from this. Okay, Rafe. And here's like the end of my little bits here. I just think this is so <clears throat> because this is the same thing that he did with the Christians. Oh, you Christians, blah, blah, blah. Just because I said, just because I blasphemed the Holy Spirit and possibly the Holy Spirit, but uh, said F you and the Lord and all that kind of stuff. He, he definitely mocked the Trinity. <clears throat> but just because I disrespected what you hold dear to your heart, um, that makes you weak and pathetic and all that kind of stuff because you have a line in the sand that you will not cross and you choose to walk away from me and tell me why you walk away from me. It's, it's literally the same thing. He's just changing who he's talking to or what he's talking about. So he's definitely doing this in order to, uh, make more money, extend the grift, the same thing that he's been doing for four years. So I guess whenever he started off this live stream saying, I'm the same, I've never changed. In reality, yeah, that's true. Funny. Um, there we go. There's a deep state one. I'm the deepest part of the deep state. In the long game. Big with the bank. Real name is money. By the way, you get a sucker at the bank, and then you put your money in a piggy bank. It's a bank for pigs. I just thought I'd let you guys know that. There's that. I did it. I covered everything. Now I have two letters to read, and that will be it. God's worth Super Chats, please. Don't forget, P.O. Box. I didn't actually have any. Oh, no, I did have one letter today. P.O. Box 490, Sandpoint, Idaho, 83864. This has been a great episode. I want it shared. I want you guys to let everyone know that I am the King Jew and I crush. All right, so this is the Texas Go Radio Show. As always, till next time.